Good afternoon, you're watching the Iron Will Vlog, your place to find tips, tricks and experience in triathlon, multi-sport and endurance events and training. So it has been a week since the Blackmore's Sydney Running Festival, where I ran the full marathon, which is the Sydney Marathon, which it was a lot of fun. I didn't quite make my uh, goal time, unfortunately. Uh, a lot of that was due to starting off a little bit too strong. So I was supposed to aim for an average of, I think it's about 510 uh, minutes per kilometer. And I started off at about four to four and a half minutes per kilometer. Really just burned myself out at the start and suffered for it in the second half. And I went into the marathon with a couple of injuries. So I had uh, Achilles tendonitis in my left Achilles. I had a sort of <coughs> knee injury on my right knee, which it kind of grabs when I bend it in a certain way. And I also had some sort of weird tendonitis in my hip, which all have been causing annoyance and disruption to my training for quite a while. And a lot of that disruption to my training and the lack of proper training really contributed to my not being able to get to my goal time. But the fact that I did do a fair bit of actual training and you know, doing a lot of the long runs really helped to allow me to be able to complete the marathon. And of course I did the marathon in a charity. So I was running on behalf of the Run Beyond Project, which is a local charity here in Sydney, which helps students in need. So uh, young people that may not have the sorts of things that we take for granted and helps them out to learn a lot of life skills through the medium of running. So it provides them with running gear, entries to events, that sort of stuff to help them learn commitment, resilience, overcoming obstacles, that sort of thing. Throughout the marathon, I noticed that I was getting a lot of cramping. Uh, a lot of the cramping was in my right calf muscle and some of it also being in my left thigh. Now, my left thigh, it turns out, is fine. Um, I was worried a little bit about my Achilles tendonitis as well, causing injuries later on, but like throughout the week, the first few days after the marathon, yes, my Achilles and calves were aching a little, uh, nothing particularly more than how they'd ached in the past. And by now, they're fine, except for my right calf muscle. That seems to be having some issues. So it started out with a little bit of tightness throughout the week. Uh, but then on Wednesday, I think it was, or Thursday, I was taking a sort of heavy load and walking down some stairs. And as I was halfway down the set of stairs, I felt this sort of stabbing sensation in my right calf muscle and had to stop for a couple of seconds before it kind of dissipated. And this sort of continued. Uh, so every now and again, since then, when I've either been walking a little bit too fast or maybe running or changing direction suddenly or also uh, going downstairs so it seems that any time where my calf muscle is stretched but i'm also putting load onto it i seem to get this weird sort of stabbing or electric shock or it also kind of feels like just a bad really bad cramp sort of feeling in my calf muscle and it's been happening now for three days that this has been well noticeable that this is specifically what is happening so I've been scaring myself a little bit I've been going on to dr. Google and trying to figure out what the hell it is and of course this comes up with potentially what looks like a grade 2 calf strain or pulled calf or torn calf or whatever it is, but like a grade two. So that's where it's between 6% and 50% of the calf muscle has damage to it. And also talking to a lot of people, this sort of calf strain or calf tear could potentially put me out of running for up to six weeks, which that doesn't sound fun. I mean, in uh, 63 days, I think it is, is when I've got my next triathlon plan. So that's the Western Sydney Half Ironman. Now, if I'm being taken out of running for six weeks, that's also probably gonna take me out of cycling, potentially for at least a few weeks. So that doesn't really look so great 
for the half Iron Man. I have looked into some contingency plans in regards to this. So up until 45 days before the event, so I've got about 20 something days, uh, I can defer my entry into the Western Sydney Half Ironman because I entered within the first 90 days of the Half Ironman being released. So, so long as I get myself to my physiotherapist or my podiatrist within this week, get them to assess it and give their professional recommendations, should I be going ahead with my Half Ironman, then I can make the decision as to whether or not I have to defer the Half Ironman Either way, I'm going to be going to the Half Ironman Western Sydney. If I have to defer, then, well, I'll be a spectator and I'll be cheering on all the people from my triathlon club as they complete the Half Ironman. Kind of giving back to the club. I mean, there was plenty of people cheering me on when I did the Half Ironman last year, when I did the full Ironman this year. So I want to be able to give back to the club. So. It is actually an awesome idea to be able to go and just cheer on other athletes within your triathlon club. And so of course, because I've had troubles walking, I haven't actually been doing any running this week. I haven't been doing any cycling this week or swimming. I haven't done swimming or cycling since the actual Ironman. That is probably not a good thing. I really need to get back into that. So now with this calf muscle issue, what I might actually do is start taking up a bit more swimming, get myself starting preparing the actual swimming part of my training, and just maybe lay back on the running for a little while. In fact, the first of any physical exercise I've actually done this week since the marathon last Sunday has been uh, my Kung Fu class, which I assisted in this morning. So every Saturday morning I assist for an hour in Kung Fu. And even in that, I was showing just a couple of moves and my calf muscle just seized up within that, like just a few minutes worth of actual activity. So it's really restrictive in what this injury, whatever it is, is actually doing to me. Of course, once I've figured out what the hell is currently happening to my calf muscle, and I've seen a physio and I've got diagnosis, and I've got sort of exercises and things you can do to help prevent whatever this is that's occurring to me. I will make a video about that so that I can help educate people out there in what to expect from whatever this is. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my video from the race day that happened last week at the Blackmore Sydney Running Festival where I attempted to set the Guinness World Record title for the fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform, but ultimately failed, I'll leave a link up here. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.